Hi. You see this? X for the Flaming Pie archive of Paul McCartney. It's the backing sheet that you can find on the Deluxe. Okay, today we're going to talk about the archive collection, the Paul McCartney collection. We have already a lot of uh, CD of Paul McCartney on it, such as um, a lot of Wings and Solo. McCartney, Ram, Wing Wildlife, uh, Red Wall Speedway, uh, Ben on the Run, Venus and Mars, uh, Wind at the Speed of Sound, McCartney 2, Tug of War, Pipe of Peep, a flower in the dirt and flaming pie. I hope I haven't forget anything. But what's gonna be next? Okay. The first logical thing to think is London Town and Back to the Egg. We know that London Town is the shell. It's it's a it's a work in progress. We have no idea at the time if it's already finished or if it was stopped. And we know, the only thing we know is that the production was stopped. But was it stopped just after it was finished or was it stopped in the middle of the process? I have no idea because I have contrary information. I have some information saying, yeah, it stopped, it's finished, and some it was just stopped. So it's kind of difficult to say because some people tell me specific things that I'm not going to tell you right now because it's very specific and I want to preserve the people who tell me this because it's a kind of confidential and they send me on very specific point because you know when you do a, a kind of stuff like this or Paul McCartney you have a lot of things to do you have to do gather all the information you have to uh, talk to people etc etc and so some people said to me, yes, those very specific thing is done. And others said, no, it still has to be done. So, I don't know. And the main problem with Back to the Egg, we know we got legal problem. It was stopped due to legal problem. What exactly? I have really no idea. But the, the thing that I know is that there is some problem with the Kompucha gig. Tell me that was not really the orchestra ten or the orchestra video because there is a video of the orchestra that is was not released at the time. You can find it on several bootlegs. The quality is not so good, but it's a very interesting document, and we hope to have it on the Back to the Egg archive collection. So we know that we have a legal problem and we think it's maybe someone who is on the uh, kombucha gig who have some, um, I don't know really what, some exigence, some uh, pay, want to be pay more or, or it can be the music label we say no because it's a different label we say no it's not the time for this we want to put I don't know something else from the artist so we don't want this and what can be put on it only the McCartney uh, I mean the McCartney um, stuff or maybe some other stuff by other artists it would be much more complicated and I wouldn't see why you would have some who or some pretender stuff on a McCartney album because there is no McCartney as a guest and so London Town London Town I have I haven't heard about anything, I mean, no legal suit, uh, legal uh, stuff or thing like that. And it's quite normal because there are no other really uh, guests or stuff like the um, Kampuchea gig. So, yeah, London Town and Back to the Egg together could be the next thing if, of course, Back to the Egg, uh, the conflict is resolved. But could be also London Town on its own. Could be a bit strange to have this on his own as almost all the archive of um, Paul McCartney uh, of the Wings were released together twice with two albums together. Uh, the exception is Ben on the Run and Wings of America. I forgot this one when I mentioned all the archive. And so if it's not that, could be Cow and Creation in the Backyard. It's a major album 
of my cat man uh, the critics were really good a lot of people regard it as a standard album album that test the stand of time and uh, this album was nominated for the uh, best album in the Grammy Award so it's something very important and Paul McCartney could go to this album he already done Flaming Pie that is also regarded as a very classic album it was very it went very well in the chart it's a very important album for the fan so it was just after the anthology so a lot of people then say oh Paul McCartney is gonna release an album he, he went deep uh, to the deep top of the Beatles, he went through all those stuff, so he got inspired him and he gonna make an album that is kind of, uh, with a kind of Beatlesque sound. I know it could sound strange to say that the uh, Beatles is doing the Beatlesque sound, but anyway. And um, yeah, could be that one. Could be also of the ground. Of the ground, I was kind of expecting to have Flo and the Dot and Off the Ground together, because Off the Ground is like the little brother of Flower in the Dirt, it's nearly the same band. The drummer is different, but it's the same band. So, yeah, and there are a lot of things that could be put on it because uh, for Off the Ground, there were a lot of B side, and the B side were gathered uh, at the time on an album called Off the Ground, a complex work. The first CD was simply Off the Ground without any extra song, and the second CD was nearly all the b-side it there was no remix on it there was no the deliverance remix and i think there was no the off the ground mixed remix and mix of off the ground but anyway there was nearly everything including the um, some extra live track that was from uh, the unplug and was not on the original unplug cd so that was nice and yeah could be something like this i know there were some maybe the, uh, i know there were some uh, track uh, i don't i don't re remember well but i remember that there were a list at the time when paul mccartney arrived on studio there was a list of songs that you think of for this album so maybe they were already recorded as a demo so could have been this and to come back to K.O., there was also some B-side, not so much compared to, to Off the Ground, but a lot compared to other album, and it could perfectly fit on uh, another CD, an extra bonus. There was also the instrumental that was, I think, uh, put on the DVD that was featured at the time, uh, that included the show at Abbey Road, Cowan Creation at Abbey Road, I think it was the name, could be on the... CD. And if it's not that, could be simply give my regard to Birth Street. But if it's that, it, it's an occasion to release again the film. And I'm not so sure that Paul McCartney will be willing to release this film because the film was not a success at all. And the CD worked really well, but a lot of people say that the film is really bad. I have already watched the film, I enjoyed the film, but it's not really so good. You like it because there are a lot of songs, it's nice to see Paul McCartney playing, a lot of great, great other artists, there are Ringo, there are John Paul Jones, there are Devin Moon, there are some band members of Toto, so it's really uh, nice, but the story and all those things, and yeah, uh, we know that there are some extra track, uh, maybe a version, I think, of the Full on the Hill, I'm not too sure, I read this, Few years ago, it went from I remember other maybe song, and it could be interesting to have new recording of the Beatles song, and also uh, our take from uh, the song, and also the version that are on the movie because some song on the movie are different, are longer. I think of, for example, Barroom Dancing that is really longer on the movie with uh, an extra verse. Uh, a verse, uh, this traverse is one that was featured on the original version, and the song had the CD version, had a verse that is not on the song, I mean the lyrics of the verse. Yeah, and it could be coupled with press. And the problem with press, there are a lot of B-side of this track, track, you can find a lot on, on bootleg, 
I think of an alternative and longer version of Feel of Good Time Coming, Feel the Sun. And that is not just longer. I think that the, the vocal tech is a bit different. But the album is an album that is not really liked by the people. And I think that Paul McCartney is not an album that he really like. Yeah, I'm sure he says that it's okay, but it's not the one you would expect to come first on the, on the archive collection. If at the beginning of the collection you would say to me, what will be the, I don't know, the four or the five first archive on the collection, I will never tell, say, oh, uh, on the five I must be pressed to play. No, I would have said, oh, Bell on the Run, uh, maybe Tug of War, maybe, um, I don't know, some Wings album, uh, McCartney, McCartney tour, Ram, all that kind of thing. But I will never tell you press, and a lot of people would have never tell you press. So I'm sure that there will be one day an archive of press because it's an album of Paul McCartney in the regular collection. So what else? That could be the live album of Paul McCartney. But the thing is that some album of Paul McCartney were released again on vinyl a few years ago or a few months ago. Uh, okay, and if they done this, I'm not expecting to have something soon. Uh, I mean, uh, a deluxe collect, a deluxe of the unplug or whatever, uh, uh, the trip being live, fantastic or something like that. I'm not really expecting to have this soon. Maybe one day. It could be very interesting because. Yet again, for the tripping life fantastic, there were some beside. I think of a soundcheck version of Simon that was not played during the tour, but only on soundcheck. There is what else? A Mool of Kintai, an amazing version done in Glasgow, and the crowd went wild when they start to play uh, a Mool of Kintai, and when the Piper Bag came, it's totally crazy this version. I never heard a crowd go so wild and mad. Okay, um, I think that was Good Day Sunshine as a B-side. Uh, All My Trial that was played once, I think. On the kind of touch, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, sound check. Paul McCartney, I've recorded a lot of the things. Some were put on uh, bootleg. I'm only talking about uh, sound check with a soundboard a sound that came from the Paul McCartney team or someone was there who record the soundboard. I'm not talking about people who came who were outside the stadium or inside if it's a stadium and uh, record the show, uh, the sound check. Uh, and sometimes it's a very bad quality. So, um, yeah, I'm not thinking about this right now. Okay, we also have the fireman. Maybe some Fireman album could be a possibility. The two first albums gather in a kind of limited deluxe uh, could be very interesting and it could interest some people. I know that uh, some people who like or love the stuff of McCartney are not really into the two first albums of the Fireman because quite of a different what Paul has done and it's kind of weird for some people, but I know there are a lot of Paul McCartney fans who love this and would love to have it. There were uh, a webcast broadcast from uh, at the time. It was, uh, I think, the second album of The Fireman. And this web broadcast is very rare because a lot of people try to find the video. The audio is known, uh, not because it was just track, a track, a track, a track, a track, put uh, together, but uh, there was also other stuff. I think that uh, a voice asked question and Paul McCartney answer it was something like this anyway. And the, at the time, why the video is hard to find and I don't think that anyone got the video. I mean, anyone watches because we are at the time, um, a time where uh, recording a screen was a bit complicated, was not so much com 
was ah sorry was not uh, was a bit hard. We were in nineteen uh, nineteen eight, I think, and at the time uh, it was uh, kind of the beginning of internet. I know internet start few years before, but uh, not a lot of people could record this. So now there will be if it was now there will be zillion of uh, video on youtube on youtube and and also the uh, places to the facebook etc etc but at the time it was a bit complicated so we have another option we even two other options the first uh, option is the rock and roll album uh, as a reminder it's the russian album and the run devil run album they could be released together, not in the same boat, because it's really different project at different time of the life of Paul McCartney, and they were done for a different reason, but they could be released together as a different box. And I know there are some uh, outtakes from the Russian album. I'm sure there are some uh, from Run the Devil Run. The album Run Devil Run was released and also uh, the Russian album as a vinyl uh, uh, was a uh, Run Devil Run released as a vinyl a few years ago. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm, uh, what I'm saying is a big mistake, but anyway, I know that the Russian uh, is, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm making this video in live condition as if it was live, so uh, maybe I'm making a mistake by saying this. But anyway, yeah, uh, could be a real possibility, and the other possibility is the other album of Paul McCartney. Could be Kisses on the Bottom, could be um, the album done by Paul McCartney, but not playing by Paul McCartney, the classical album, the oratorio album, all those kind of things, the Standing Stone, all the other projects. There are also the Liverpool Sun College that could be released. And that one thing I haven't mentioned on this video is the recent album. I haven't talked about Memory Almost Full, uh, New, um, Education, McCartney 3. It's for me to, it's album that are too recent to be released on an archive. Uh, yeah, for uh, Cow and Creation because it was regarded as an iconic album, as a very important album, but I think uh, Memory of Mushful was a fantastic album, but it was not regarded as, uh, as this, so I think we're gonna have to wait to have some uh, extra track of this album and uh, the looks of it. Yeah. So, when? The next question is when? I have clearly no idea, but we could guess. The McCartney 3 was out a few months ago. I'm making this video in uh, early February of 2021. I'm saying this because maybe you will watch this video in two or three years and say, oh, what are you talking about? We already have this archive or this archive. Okay, so at the time, a few months ago in December, McCartney 3 was released. So we can expect to have a deluxe of the album, of course, not an archive, but a deluxe uh, like it was done for education, like it was done for a new few months ago, a few months, sorry, a few months later. So we can expect to have something. And the one thing that we know is, is that a new project of Paul McCartney is coming. We know the title. I mean, I should have said the title is known by a few people. Uh, I don't know the title, but what I was told is that it's not something that you could guess easily. McCartney 3, you could have guessed it easily because a lot of people were expecting to have a McCartney 3 and there was a lot of discussion saying, oh, how's there going to be a McCartney 3? Uh, I, I remember someone who uh, wrote an article in 1990 to say, how's there going to be this year a McCartney 3 because it was 70, 18, 19, and this time there was 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, and there was nothing. And so, yeah, and there was even on the Steve Hoffman forum, someone, it was few years ago, 2015, I think, was saying, how's there gonna be uh, a McCartney 3 in 2020? And, 
and uh, quite funny that yes and it because of the pandemic it was not because of 2020 that, that is quite funny okay and so the, the, this project is a kind of mysterious we don't know if it's linked to McCartney 3 the title doesn't give any clue I mean if the title was a reference to a lyric of the song of of something from the album you could say oh maybe it's linked but there we have no idea and is it an experimental thing is it uh, something from McCartney 3 what is quite interesting to note with the extra track that was released in McCartney 3 the bonus track the four the four song all of them were not outtake I mean extra song they were they were all of them were songs that are already released but it's alternative song it's alternative version with alternative lyrics I think of woman and wife it's a demo the fun demo uh, it's a sound check an early version of sliding etc etc so it's quite strange that there is no extra really track I mean no uh, new song and it's quite surprising because if you look at new there was hell to pay and demand dance release an extra track plus some uh, live track I think from Tokyo and there was also uh, from uh, Existation, there was uh, not it was uh, what was uh, it was six second street and front line trust party and then again few year, few one years later there was two expressions that was not linked to the album i mean it was not sell with the album it was sell as a record store day uh, with home tonight and in hurry that apparently was from the session and so there you have nothing we were told that there were 25 songs taken from uh, this session all they knew and we and when people tell us on telling all we don't really know what does it mean was it soon that were already record like uh, when winter come and 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 just put uh, on the album like this or was it all songs that were re-recorded uh, uh, or could be songs that you take uh, I don't know the the bass and the drum part from I don't know a few years ago and he had a guitar to replace the, uh, the guitar part that he had done he was not happy with it etc etc could be and there was nothing so uh, was the 25 uh, song from the session something wrong maybe or did the song were really bad that he, he takes them apart actually I have no idea or maybe you have kept some song to put them on a remix maybe like the fireman or the deliverance remix that was a remix of all of deliverance and um, yeah could be this but we have no at the time I don't think that we have no I haven't checked for, uh, for uh, days of the Steve Hoffman forum because there are a lot of people talking and it's normal about the new album and the uh, mysterious project is hidden in the in the section and I will check this later on so yeah my pr so my prediction could be that something this year about uh, the archive Dolish collection so let's say if is the is the thing about the mysterious project link whether link or not about McCartney 3 we uh, we could we could think that it will be released in in the beginning of this year uh, I mean uh, winter or spring and so maybe we could have an archive in spring or in the summer or even in uh, autumn mm, um, but I think there could be an archive this uh, this year so we will see my guess is London Town plus Back to the Egg only if and there's a big if uh, the legal uh, problem is re solved but if it's not could be only London Town but would be strange to release London Town on his own because London Town Back to the Egg would be a great combination together and if it's not that because uh, Paul McCartney say okay London Town we're gonna keep it 
with uh, back to gang and back to gang is not uh, ready yet or uh, still the legal problem could be uh, off the ground or could be cow and creation but if you ask me what do I think is this gonna be much more off the ground of cow I would say mm, I probably think maybe cow because it's a more famous album and it will perfectly fit with uh, Flying Pines and Cow and I also realized that I forget to talk about Driving Rain it's only one that I haven't mentioned it's yeah Driving Rain and the thing is that Driving Rain uh, is an album that uh, I really love but it was not so famous it's not go well in the chat and I think that some people that I know rank uh, Driving Rain really low so I don't expect to have Driving Rain coming next because if you have a Driving Rain coming next a lot of people would have said oh, why is Driving Rain and the thing is that there is one song and Driving Rain called Arthur uh, it's about the wife the ex-wife of Paul McCartney and uh, will Paul McCartney be willing to release an album and talk about a song called Hasa and on the Dolan say oh I wrote this song for my ex-wife uh, uh, could be a thing so I'm not expecting to have uh, this album right now anyway thanks uh, I think that this video come to an end it's a really a live uh, video I've done as if it was a live video sometimes I have some hesitation sometimes I'm searching my word I'm French so sometimes I have to think of my word in English so sorry for that I hope you have enjoyed this video I'm gonna do much more videos some won't be live video uh, like if it was a live video I could also do real live video I'm gonna be soon on a podcast talking about the Beatles and the Ringo Starr, the book uh, that Ringo released about the old band of Ringo Starr because sadly there are some mistakes on the book. I'm not blaming them, the, the editor Ringo for that, but there are some mistakes on the book. And I will talk uh, on this podcast, it's a video podcast. I will give, if there will be it will be the first time I will talk about this I could have done a video about it but I prefer to give them the priority to talk about this book to talk about the mistake but uh, there is one thing I can tell you go buy this book if you love the old star band it's not a really great book even if there are some annoying mistakes okay the phone rings so I think I'm gonna go and I'm telling you uh, it's just a ring one time anyway so I'm gonna tell you sorry for that so I'm gonna tell you goodbye and if you have any uh, thing to tell me oh I really don't like this I don't really don't like that I'm really open to any uh, thing that you can tell me I, of course if you want to be really mean just to troll me please no I will never answer you I will never uh, answer you because if you have something to say I will try to answer if there are not so much uh, commentary on the video and uh, we'll see you soon for another video it could be an album it could be what whatever a pop rock album not about the Beatles could be uh, on a new project of Paul McCartney if we have more news could be about the Macablo could be many other stuff so Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, see you soon for another fake live uh, uh, video. Okay, bye.